Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We got a, one of these 8th ounce Tamora jig heads with a sickle hook. Uh, for this we're going to be using our fish air white synthetic bucktail. Uh, I got some black crystal flash I picked up at Bass Pro today. I didn't have any black. Uh, I splurged a little bit at Bass Pro today. I usually don't, I don't buy a lot of my stuff from there. Most of it I get it from eBay or Amazon. Uh, order some from Barlow's but I got these rabbit zonkers we're going to try to figure out a use for those here in a day or two but anyway we're going to go ahead and get started uh, i tell you what let me switch my thread out here to start with before I get too far into this we've got our of course, our Danville 210 flat wax thread we're going to be using. Uh, I think I told you yesterday uh, in another video about those scissors I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Uh, picked these up at Hobby Lobby. As you can see, they've got that sharp tip on them. Good about cutting your thread and... Uh, Chanel picked them up for a dollar forty nine. You can't beat that. Uh, so we've got our jig. Let's get our thread laid down. Again, this is Danville two ten flat wax thread. We're gonna tie it right down to the bottom and go right back to the top. We're gonna put us a piece of flashaboo in here. We're gonna go with the pearl flashaboo. Cut off that tie again. And let's see here. I'm going to get this down here where I can try to pick out a good piece. I'm just going to loop that right around the hook there. Pull it back. And start tying it in with a... Try to keep a piece of that flash of boo on each side of your hook if you can. Okay, we've got that in. Now we're going to get our synthetic bucktail. Guys, it don't take a whole lot of this time you fold it. This is six inches long. We're going to cut off about that much of it. Unless you want a, a big bulky jig, then I guess you can cut more of it, but I... I prefer the lower profile jigs. That's just me. Okay. We'll go back and uh, put some Sally Hansen hardest nails over those threads. Make sure they stay put. Just gonna lay that right down on the back of that hook and give it a few loose wraps. Then we're gonna to try to take and spread it out around the hook a little bit. It's kind of hard to see there. Get it where you want it and just tie it in. I've noticed on a few of my videos, uh, when I go to do the whip finish on it, I'm kind of angling my uh, whipping tool a little bit and it's getting my thread off. So I'll show you here at the end if I can. I can do it right this time but uh, and we've got this flash black uh, crystal flash I thought I'd give it a try on this this jig here this is uh, this is finer than the normal crystal flash or it seems to me like it is 
and all I want is two strands of it. And halfway, uh, it's supposed to be 12 inches long all together, so I'm going to cut six inches. I'm going to take and fold it in the middle. Give it a cut. And we're going to fold it again. Give it another cut. Make sure you get all of the cut. And we're going to lay that right down on top of the hook and just tie it right back down to the bottom. I missed a few strands there. That'll be all right. I had a little more than I wanted anyway. So we've got that tied in. We'll stay at the bottom, then we're going to get our chenille. We're going to use this uh, Crystal Ice Age. It's dark emerald shiner, size 4. That's what we're going to use on this particular jig. If I can find the end of it here. Of course, we'll go back over those threads and Hit them with the Sally Hansen again. This is a little thicker, so I'm going to strip off about a quarter of an inch of it, lay it right down on top of the hook, and we'll just start tying it in. That glue will help hold your uh, thread in place there. loosen our vise and just start wrapping. Try to get nice even wraps. Tighten our vise back up. And I like to come behind it here about four times just to alternate. Sometimes I can remember to do that, sometimes I can't. So you want to come behind and in front, behind and in front. And I think that was four. Put our chenille. <coughs> whipping tool up here and try to finish this up guys what I was talking about I was holding my when I was coming around it I was dropping my whipping tool now I've got messed up here we're just gonna have to start over You can see these strands of this uh, chenille that's come out of it or sticking up on the head of it. If you want to cut those off, that's fine. Uh, it doesn't hurt the jig any. Uh, I never do cut them off. We're going to go five times trying to remember to keep our thread right behind the jig head. You're going to pull it there. Make sure it's good and tight. Be careful not to break your thread. And we're going to get in there with her dollar forty nine Hobby Lobby scissors and cut that right off. And, uh, if you watch my videos, you know I like to go around those threads with the, that Sally Hansen hardest nails. I'm going to have to get me a, get me some more Sally Hansen. 
I bought three bottles of it when I started tying about four months ago, and I still got a bottle and a half of it left. So that stuff goes a long ways. So let's get it out of here and uh, look at it. Get it in our forceps here. And guys, that right there is a nice looking crappy jig. Really like the way it turned out. Guys, I want to take a minute. Uh, I can't remember if I've done this at the start of the video, but uh, uh, when you get old like me, you forget stuff. I want to thank Jerome, and Mark, Stephen, Charles, and Robert, new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I uh, appreciate all my subscribers. Uh, I know one, uh, Jeff, he's a loyal viewer, and I really appreciate him. Uh, but uh, not a bad job. Uh, we'll throw that in the box. We'll see if we can do some good with it. Guys, as always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I really enjoy doing these videos. Uh, I love tying these jigs up. Uh, but if, uh, if you like the video, just take a second there and hit like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.